So we've had all these goat babies here and we're going to be uh, weaning them off their mamas here pretty soon and selling off a lot of the babies and things. So we're going to be full-time milking these, these mothers out here and we'll probably keep um, the mothers that we're going to milk out in this area by the barn. But now it's time to build a milk stand and I've got some pallet wood and a bunch of scrap wood and, and parts laying around here so I'm going to try to use just things that we have and uh, we'll get something put together. Now there's lots of designs online, pictures, YouTube videos of people building milk stands. They're all pretty similar uh, and so you know I'm not reinventing the wheel here but let's just see what we can put together uh, and make something that will work nicely for us to milk these goats. I got lucky starting with this pallet. Um, it's already got a nice smooth flat surface on it. And uh, this actually when we renovated our basement, we got a bunch of flooring delivered to us from Home Depot and this is what it came on. So it's a perfect pallet for uh, this kind of thing. So obviously if you can't find a pallet just like this, that's totally fine. You can find any uh, longer shaped pallet uh, like these, they're, they're all over the place. And then just take some extra slats and fill in the gaps and then that'll make your, your table for the, uh, the base of the, of the milking stand. So there you go, that's one 24 inch leg. Now, make another one. That's okay. Once you go all the way through, you can you can let go of the trigger and then just lift it back up. Okay. So. Gonna be close enough. So for each of these legs, I'm using a 24 inch piece of 4x4 that had scrap laying around. And I'm just uh, squaring this in here and I'm using some 2.5 inch deck screws with the, uh, I think it's a, the star bit uh, ends on. These things are amazing. Uh, I always use these screws for just about everything I do. So this will bite in here about an inch, a little bit more because I'll countersink them in just a little bit. I'm not pre-drilling any of these holes. I don't think it's necessary with this wood. Um, it doesn't seem to be splitting or anything. So. Uh, we'll just put them in on a little bit of an angle. And for the ends, I'm just going to be putting the board that I took off the bottom of the pallet right back on the ends here and using some inch and 5 8 screws to secure it to the legs.
Okay, so next thing we're going to be doing here is building the, uh, I guess, feed support and the neck holder where the goat's head will stick through and eat uh, whatever feed or treats you have for them to hold them still while we milk at the other side. So uh, I've got a couple pieces of the pallet support, uh, they're like two by fours almost, and those are going to be mounted directly on the front and I'm going to run some screws directly in here. Um, I'm using the same two and a half inch screws, that's all I have, so they'll grab a little bit of this leg again um, and I'll just have to offset them from the screws that I already have put in for the leg there. But um, one of these is going to go on each side. These are 36 inches tall, so this will allow me to not only milk the goats, the dwarf uh, goats that we have right now, but a full-size goat if we decide to go that route uh, down the road. So we're just going to make sure that this is square uh, with the surface of the, uh, the table here. And we'll go ahead and get this uh, mounted. Her neck should be kind of craned over that just a little bit, you know. Okay, lift it up. So the last thing we need to do here is just get the head clamp, um, we'll call it uh, in place to hold the goat's head while we milk. One of the boards on one side will be stationary and then the other one on the other side will pivot on a bolt at the bottom so it can be moved into place to squeeze your head. So Summer, why don't you put your head through? All right, All right can you get your head out? <laughs> All right, so that looks like it's gonna work pretty well. So what I have here, I'm gonna have to sand some of the stuff just so it slides a little easier in between here, but um, this is the, the one that moves to, to clamp their heads in place. 
And I just made this, this block, it's just kind of a multi-block, has uh, two different sizes on it. And I could add another, another one to this side or something like that if I wanted a third size size. But um, this just, I measured it for her. Her neck is the larger size, so once it's over, you can put this in place. And then that can't open. And if I wanted, if I had a goat with a bigger, bigger neck, I could put the smaller block in there and then that will move over to that size. So um, just a, an easy way, instead of buying hardware, or eye, eye latches or uh, hook and eyes, something like that, I think this will work pretty good. One thing I should have done was I should have left this longer. So I had a little extra piece of wood on the top here to move this back and forth. It still moves pretty easily in here, but it just, it would have been nice to, to have a, a handle on the top. So, oh well, um, I can always change that later on. But this works pretty good. So a pretty simple build for the, the little goat stanchion, the little goat milking stand. I think the, the little the neck clamp here will work pretty well. Um, I, do, I do think this turned out pretty good with the um, different, uh, different blocks. My daughter came up with that idea, and I think it, uh, it works out pretty good that way. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you're looking to build a milking stand uh, or you enjoyed the video, it was entertaining at least a little bit. So hit thumbs up, guys, if you can. Throw comments down below. What do you think? Any ideas? Any additions I should make? Anything I should know before we get started here? I'd love to hear from you. Uh, throw comments down below. I think I'm going to paint this whole thing white. Um, I think it'll be nice to be able to wash it off. We'll give it a nice uh, um, paint and uh, maybe a varnish coat on it to uh, um, just help keep it clean and, and you know, milk soaking into the wood and stuff like that. So. As always, guys, subscribe if you want to follow along with all kinds of farming fun. We are a new farm here in Michigan. Uh, we're starting from scratch, trying to make it as farmers. And uh, so if you'd like to follow the journey and our sustainable approach to farming, I'd love to have you guys tag along. So hit subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on new videos. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.